2004, I went to Dotiu, which is one of the remote uh, districts of Nepal. Uh, one of my gynecologists showed me two cases of prolapsed uterus, uh, 15 years girls. I became very anxious. I was trying to find out what alternative I can do for these girls. About a year and a half ago, I received an email from this Dr. Joshi. And Dr. Joshi was asking for help to set up some sort of treatment program for roughly 600,000 women in the country of Nepal who are suffering pelvic prolapse, which encompasses dropping of the uterus, of the bladder, of the vaginal supports. My sense from exchanging hundreds of emails with Dr. Joshi is that these women receive very little medical attention. They're not really resting their bodies after childbirth and they are certainly lifting heavy loads by any standards for the majority of their lifetime. And I sent him back a reply. I said, Dr. Joshi, I'd be happy to help you with whatever you need. The Women's Health Foundation was contacted by Dr. Roger Goldberg, one of our board members, who shared with us his vision for this mission to Nepal. And we were really, really excited about the opportunity to affect change in women's lives in a place where treatments are non-existent. so when you come look for me, my name is Molly, and I will bring you to the right doctor and we will take care of her. And afterwards, I can teach exercises that will help keep the ring in instead of falling out. just like she reported. She would not be a good candidate for surgery. Okay. What she would be a good candidate for is a pessary, which is like a silicone-like device that we can teach her how to insert inside her vagina to hold up the uterus. She said that she has already used that ring pessary and it has fallen out for two times. So the key about fitting a pessary is we'd want to fit her for one. We can find one that fits her best, that she's comfortable taking in and out. She's saying that the ring pessary has to be changed in three, three months and they cannot afford to buy the ring pessary, ring pessary again and again. She says she cannot afford for that. Well, it's the same pessary, so she would be fitted for one pessary and that's the same one that she can use over and over. We would just teach her how to clean and okay. remove it. You will put this one pessary for a long time? Mm -hmm. So okay. we have women who wear pessaries for 40, 50 years. So the way that I'm going to put this in is that I'm going to I'm going to squeeze it and that'll be the same way that she's going to take it out so she'll hook one finger around it and then pull it out. So I'm going to teach her how to take it in and out. You just come here and you want to help everyone. Like I wanted to help everyone. I mean that's why we're all physicians and that's why we all came on the trip is because we wanted to make some kind of difference. Okay? Okay. You did it. That was easy. This is 
We often hear from women who have prolapse and other pelvic floor disorders say, I felt like I was the only one. I felt so alone. And I think one of the things about this mission and about our efforts is that we really want women to understand that they are not alone.